Cancer, welcome to my channel, welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. And today is the 27th of December 2022, time is 11.46 a.m., Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Cancer needs to hear today. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I see a little bit of a twist here. We've got the Knight of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. There's a bit of an age gap here. One person is way more sturdier or more stable um, financially or as a person in general than the other, okay? So... Um, if you are <laughs> Cancer, if you are the feminine energy, Queen of Pentacles, doesn't matter if we all have both feminine and masculine, but I'm just trying to get into the details. <laughs> Perhaps that would help to confirm these messages for you because obviously it's a general message, so it's not going to apply to all of you. But especially if you're feminine energy with the Queen of Pentacles here, there is a younger energy here coming in, okay? This person may want to return. This person may want to reconcile with you for once. This is someone you have already broken up with or could be separated from. And you know, for some of you, this may, for a lot of you, this could be a love interest. But for a lot of you, for some of you also, this could be like a best friend, ex-best friend, two of cups and lovers. Two of cups can indicate like friendship as well. You can love your friends too, right? So, but again just please bear in mind this could be a romantic partner an ex-romantic partner or an ex-best friend um three of cups and my first and we've got the chariot here so i feel like this person is going to make his or her way towards you seven of cups and lovers, and then swallowing their swallowing swallowing their pride six of wands and love first to choose to ask for a reconciliation. Look at the judgment here. So this person is going to clear the air with you. Unless Cancer, it's if it's the other way around, Spirits could be encouraging you to clear the air with somebody, okay? With this person. Um, especially if this person is a Virgo, Capcom, or a Taurus. Again, it could go vice versa here. Because the four wands can indicate that could be a chance of a reconciliation if you do want to reconcile with this person um perhaps clearing the air with the judgment here will do good for this connection only if you want to reconcile okay there could be a chance for that but i'm sensing it may not be 100 percent though for some of you it's i feel like it's 50 50 to be honest only because of the hard front here is in love first let's pull out more cards See, judgment. This person may want to speak with you. Um, the masculine energy may want to speak with you, okay? And with the three of cups here, I'm up first. Seven of cups, I'm up first. This person is going to make a decision to stop socializing with other people or stop drinking or stop indulging in whatever. Three of cups, I'm up first. Um, something about being finally being serious or wanting to um, build a foundation for ones with you that is more stable. And this is someone I feel, again, you're separated from because of the hard fire members and two cups and lovers, six of swords and lovers. This person is going to return to you. And this person is going to make his or her way towards you. Could be because, you know, the chariot I see as a transportation. So this person will be living far away from you. Or it could be just driving five minutes to go to your place and see you or wanting to see you in general. And six of wands and lovers, they will tell you something that's not going right in their life. And that they may have fallen from grace or they may be swallowing, swallowing their pride and asking 
it's it's not easy. Right? It's not easy for this person to do that with the ten of wands. It's not easy for this person to do that, but they're gonna attempt. And you look at the tower here. So it does look like this is gonna be like some sort of a shock. It'd be surprising for you because you may think that this person is too prideful. This person is never gonna. Um, return or will never want to clear the air, will never want to speak with you with the judgment here. But you're going to be surprised as this, that this person will want to speak with you. And for some of you, again, it could go vice versa, that perhaps it could be encouraging you to speak to this person. You'll be surprised with the outcome, how well received they would be instead of if you were to be afraid that they're going to reject you. Whether they reject you or not, I feel like at least, if nothing else, you will gain some closures, okay, with a four wands and the judgment. At least the air will be cleared. That's what I'm seeing here. Ten of wands indicates that you, um, like you're almost there. You know, when it comes to the finances, I see you building something with the four wands that is not easy. Um, it is not easy. But it is not easy. I know why now. It is not easy because there is a lack of discipline with the Hierophant in reverse. Lack of discipline. So judgment here is like, it makes me feel like you need to sort things out. Um, create some sort of structure and managing your time or managing people work with you or people work for you properly. I don't know. This part of the message is just for some of you. Something about lack of uh, proper management or discipline and ten of wands. And it feels almost like, you know, one person is carrying all of these wands. Either you're the only person who is doing everything or carrying all the responsibilities or or that you're trying to finish something like a task <clears throat> on a last minute and becomes too overwhelming and becomes way too much to finish a certain task or project on time, okay? That is for some of you. And Six of Swords in reverse it feels like you need to return to the basics, return to four ones, which to me is basic because it's a basic understanding that four, <clears throat> four legged chair. Four-legged chairs are more stable, <laughs> right? It's a basic understanding. So something about you needing to understand the basics of how things work, which is, again, the Hierophant reverse. Lack of... Because the Hierophant can indicate something that is conventional, something that has been done over and over again, and that it kind of works because, you know, that's the fundamental of um, success. So something about this fundamental strategy that perhaps for some of you you need to practice okay i don't know this 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 message is like so specific and it's just for whoever who needs to hear it um again <clears throat> excuse me the harvan in reverse again it, it kind of feels like there needs to be some sort of revival with the judgment here in terms of how basic how do you say, a basic style, basic, like something that is original, that everybody does it. I don't know why it's saying that it's a lack of that. Lack of that it could be discipline, structure, management, you know, um, just basic business. If you have your own business, yeah, or if you're managing people, because judgment, there are few people here. Something about going back to basics, yeah? And then it might work. I don't know. This part of the storyline is super, super specific. Obviously, again, it's not for all of you. And the tower here, you might be surprised, again, that certain things that you don't think is going to work will work. And also, certain people who will not come back will come back. Yeah. And also, certain project that you don't think you will be able to finish will be finished. But a little bit of a flaw here that I'm seeing. Um, judgment also can indicate, you know, listening to the higher ups, listening to, um, listening to 
somebody who has more experience than you are than you do. Yeah, I'm saying listening because there's a trumpet. There's the sounds coming out of it, and this person, this is the the angel, and it's on top, high above, above than these three people here. So somebody higher up, somebody above you, level wise. Okay, all right, Cancer. <laughs> this is this is a little bit of a uh, complicated reading. I hope you resonated though in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment if you want to, so I can see your feedback. And I'll leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. These readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. In fact, I upload them right away once I'm done with all, all of the readings, and I post them twice a day as well. So I hope to see you back here again later or um, tomorrow. Take care, Cancer. Bye.